What is up, YouTube? It is Tasha Nay Latrice, and you are watching my channel. <laughs> What's up? What's poppin'? You are on my channel. Yes, I just redid this intro because I did it the first time without my ring light on. It was too dark. It was too dark. So today I'm going to be doing a twist out, not a twist out, but I am twisting my hair. So I'm just going to twist it up and leave it like that maybe for a week or two just so that my hair can be put away. I'm kind of tired of dealing with it right now, not really trying to do much with it. So putting it in a quick protective style and I did just wash my hair and I deep conditioned with the Dove Amplified Textures Recovery Mask. I did and I'm leaving this in. So yeah, I'm leaving it in. My hair needs some moisture, not gonna rinse it out. And I've already gone ahead and started with two twists. And the, the product that I'm using to twist my hair is also the Dove Amplified Textures Shaping Buttercream. This is twisting moisture. I've never used this for twisting. I just used it as a regular styler, but um, it worked really well. So we're, it looks like so far, it's making my twist super moisturized. And I'm just gonna keep going ahead with that right there. I'm not trying to make my twists super perfect. I'm also not parting them or anything because I'm not wearing this as a, I mean, I am wearing it as a style, but I'm not really going nowhere. So I'm just trying to put my hair up in some type of style so that it can be put away for a little bit and not manipulated because I'm not really in the mood to manipulate, if you know what I mean. <laughs> now, let me tell you, update. Let me give y'all a little update on the Taraji P. Henson styling gel that I used in my last video. If you haven't seen my last video, go ahead and check it out. But in my last video where I reviewed that TPH gel, my hair did come out very nicely by the end of the video and it was very nice until like the next day or two days after, my hair was so flaky. Oh my gosh, there were flakes all up in my hair. My hair had white residue and flakiness all over it and i just got so done with it i just left it and i just rinsed it out i just washed it out of my hair today so i was kind of disappointed because i really like that gel but it does have a lot of flaking like my hair was yeah pretty flaky after that so i don't know how i feel about it anymore will i use that product again i don't know maybe i did buy it so i probably will use it just to get the money's worth out of it and then i probably will not repurchase that one but that doesn't mean all the products are like that i'm sure there are other products in her line that are still good to use like the deep conditioners and all that but um that gel honey <laughs> that gel it was not it i'm not even gonna lie to you like even though i gave it the benefit of the doubt and it did do my hair really good but uh no, nah, that flakiness, it turned me off. It really turned me off from the product. So beware if you are thinking about buying that TPH styling gel that it did have a lot of flakiness afterwards. Sorry, not sorry, TPH kind of let me down a little bit with that. Kind of let me down. I'm kind of on a time limit, which is why I'm going kind of fast and I'm not really explaining what i'm doing not that i have to explain i'm literally just doing two strand twists all the way around my head but i'm trying to chit chat with y'all a little bit I'm trying to chit chat with y'all what y'all want to talk about so i heard trumpy was sending out them stimulus y'all <laughs> he's sending out the stimulus is y'all finna get your second stimulus check because i'm gonna be very happy when that shit hit my account I got a move to make. I'm trying to move across the country, okay? I'm gonna need that stimulus. I'm gonna need that stimulus. Go ahead and send it. Send it, I'm gonna be checking my bank account every day for the stimulus. Y'all let me know if there's any updates on that. <laughs> Anything new with y'all? What y'all up to? What y'all doing? Y'all still on quarantine or y'all out here just making moves? What is it? Cause um, in my state where I'm at, the state that I live in now is the state where like the first case of Corona was ever <laughs> found. And we've been kind of on lock with it ever since. Like we haven't really opened up completely, 
but I do work still. Um, I wasn't working for a really long time, but I am working again and we're currently in phase two still. Not getting approved to move to phase three or anything like that. Um, but I'm excited to get back into the swing of things, but not until everyone's healthy again. You know what I mean? Like, I do want to go back out and do regular things, but if it's not, if Corona's still chilling and hanging around, I don't know how much I really want to do that, you know? Are y'all crazy? Are y'all really crazy? Like, I understand some people are just like, it's a myth, it's a hoax. If you, even if you do believe that, it's just like, be considerate of other people. Like, if it is a real thing and people really, I mean, people really are dying. So let's not say if it's a real thing because anyone who thinks it's not real is tripping. People are dying. People that may not, it might not be people that you know personally or that are close to you, but people are dying from this pandemic. Like people are dying from COVID-19. So just take that into consideration when you're just out here lollygagging and partying and doing whatever, because if you just so happen to get that shit, you're gonna be looking stupid. You're gonna be looking real dumb when you get it. And you're just like, damn, I really didn't think it was real. Oh my God, I really didn't think COVID was a real thing. Like, you're just dumb. Like, stay your ass in the house. And I'm not even saying like, you gotta stay in the house 24 seven. You can get out, but wear your mask. If you're gonna go outside, wear your mask. Like I went out to eat the other night and I wore my mask and I'd be wearing my mask till, till I can't wear it no more, till the food in my mouth. <laughs> Cause I'd be scared I'm gonna get COVID just from fast food. Like, or somebody who ain't clean their hands during the preparing of the food or something. You know what I mean? Like, I'm scared. I'm scared. So I don't know what's wrong with y'all. Y'all think you're invincible. Y'all think you Spider-Man or something. And that you can't get COVID. Like, who do you think you are? Working at the car wash. yeah, yeah, yeah. I have to work <laughs> so I'm trying to do this very quickly and not like spend a lot of time trying to make it perfect which is why I've been saying that this whole time because I do got to go to work at four o'clock and it's already like I don't know what time it is right now <laughs> it's 2 10 so I got about two hours I'm just hoping and praying it don't take that long because I want to sit down. <laughs> I know I ain't did nothing all day, but like I'm still trying to sit down before work. <laughs> I got to mentally prepare myself for a shift, okay? All right. Mostly because my job is trash, y'all. Y'all ever work a job and like you just be waiting to find a reason to leave? Like... I just be waiting on somebody to say something to me wrong so I could be like, you know what? I quit. I don't need this. I don't need this. My man got two jobs. <laughs> but that's me though. Like, I don't need this. I got three jobs. <laughs> I don't need this job, okay? Like, y'all don't even pay me enough for this. Like, I gonna ask my job to make a Black Lives Matter statement, right? Like, in the midst of all that craziness that was going down, I work at a place that it's like a country club. It is a country club. It's a country club slash golf club. And it's a lot of wealthier white people. And um, I work there as a hostess, like in the restaurant. And I asked my boss, I'm like, hey, are you guys gonna make a statement? Like, I just sent them a nice letter, just like, hey, I think me and the other people of color who work here and also the few, very few color people of color um, or black members that we have would appreciate it if you spoke out and, you know, sided with Black Lives Matter or let them know that you really care and stand in solidarity with us, things like that. And they were just like, oh yeah, that's a great idea. We'll keep you posted on that. Um, and I was like, okay, cool. And then I go to work. And then my boss is like, let's have a meeting like with the presidents of the club and like, let's talk about some of those things. And I was like, okay, awesome. So I get up at early in the butt crack morning to go do this meeting with the presidents just for them to sit in my face and tell me 
that their lawyer thinks it'll be a bad idea. He's like, our lawyer doesn't think it would be good for us to do anything like that because this club is not political at all. We don't talk politics here. Sir, excuse me, politics? Like, is this not just like human lives? Is this not just like morals? Like, is this not just like, this is not politics. Like, did I say anything about Trump? Did I say anything about Trump? No, but it did not sit right with me. On top of that, they were not saying my name properly. Like from the moment I walked into the meeting, from the moment I walked into the meeting, they said my name wrong multiple times. Like Tashian, Tashina, Tatiana. Girl, what? I'm not any of those. Stop fucking with my identity. This is who I am. You're messing up my identity when you can't say my name properly. And it's spelled exactly how it how it sounds. Toshine. T-O-S-H. Tosh. I E N A E. N A E. Girl bye. It is not hard to say. And they will literally sit up there and be like, I'm gonna have a hard time with this one. This is so freaking hard. I'm it's gonna take me a while to remember that. Read. Read, even teachers. I'm like, how do you not even know? How do you not know how to say a kid's name and you're a teacher? Excuse me, isn't your whole job just to read and sound out letters? Bitch, get the fuck out of here. Get out of my face with all that, okay? Not having it, not here for it. But anyway, yeah, they basically told me they wasn't gonna write a Black Lives Matter statement. They tried to get me to snitch on people who have uh, tried to discriminate against me. And I was like, this ain't about that. Like, I didn't come here to snitch on people. I ain't come here to tell you which white man said my name wrong or ignored me at the front desk. I came over here to talk about the Black Lives Matter statement, okay? And they were just trying to get me to snitch, but I wasn't finna do it. I told them, no, I'm not doing that. That's not what I came here for. I came here about the statement. That's the focus. But as soon as I brought that up, it was like, oh, well, no. No, like, no, I don't think we're gonna do that. But thanks for your input. Have a nice day. <laughs> Anything else? Like they were really trying to get me out of there after that. And I was like, wow, so what did I get up for? But okay, I got paid for that. So whatever. But every day now when I go to this stupid ass job, I just, I'm mad. Like, I don't wanna be here. I don't feel like you guys care about me or my black life or, you know, like y'all are cool with me just working here but not making a statement on behalf of me and all the other people of color who work here. Y'all are cool with just having people of color in the kitchen and in the back and working for you and not, see, I'm not even about to do that, but yeah, I'm hot about it. So really, moral of the story, I don't really care if I'm late to this job, which is why I'm doing my hair right now. Fire me, please. All these twists finna be different sizes and shit. It don't even matter. It don't even matter. It don't even matter. It don't even matter. Uh, 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 uh. Well, do you guys uh, have GoPros? Because like GoPro be dying hella fast low key. Like I've been recording for about 22 minutes and my shit already finna die and it was on full, okay? How does that even make sense? No, somebody in the comments gonna be like, girl, that's a hot ass man. He ain't even do that shit, right? He ain't sectioned the parts or anything like that. Um, shut the fuck up. <laughs> I'm doing what I want to do. This is my damn head, so that's what I'm doing. I already know I got a side eye when I said I left my deep conditioner in. But, oh well, boo, oh well. Y'all hoes mad, y'all hoes mad.
getting copyrighted. Not doing it. <laughs> Gotta shut that shit up. So let Chloe and Holly sing it, bitch. Let Chloe and Holly sing it. Not you. <laughs> Not you. We ain't asked for you to sing it. What y'all think so far? My twist looking kind of juicy. My ends are not looking juicy, but I don't know. For some reason, my ends are not curling up. Or also, I'm just kind of trying to finish them fast. So I'm not going really all the way to the end like I should and twisting it. I'm kind of just like getting close to the end and twisting it up. And then uh, some of them are probably going to try to unravel. But hey, oh well. Gross. <laughs> I like to show all the hair that I lose because I feel like not enough beauty gurus do that. Like not enough curly hair people be showing all the shedding because they be trying to make it seem like they ain't got none. But I'm showing every single ounce of shedding. Okay, y'all gonna see all this hair that's coming out today. Cause I'm real. Okay, I got real hair probs. I don't do everything perfect. Oh shoot. I shouldn't have even did that. My hair is not even completely detangled right now, but I've been trying to just detangle them as I go. Watch when I get to work. Them freaking white people gonna be acting a damn fool. They're gonna be like, oh, what's different about your hair today? Oh my gosh, is that your real hair? Oh my God, how'd you do that? I wish my hair could do some stuff like that tall. <laughs> oh, so annoying. I just be like, bruh, okay. Damn, get about my damn face and my grill and my hair. Just all up in my shit asking me questions. Do I ask you how you got your hair so damn flat and weird and bland? Hmm? Do I ask you how your hair so oily? No. So leave me alone. <laughs> I feel like five. I'm like, leave me alone. <laughs> Y'all know that? Okay, y'all, so this is the final product. My camera died in the middle of me doing this. I was just talking about how my camera was finna die. But now I am done. I'm just gonna wipe off some of that excess product. I'm really just gonna try to let it dry up. Um, but that is the finished look. I did do a little center part and then I cleaned it up along the top pretty much, but that's just what we're looking like here. This is exactly what I was going for. It's not perfect. It's not the best twist style. I mean, twist style that I've ever done, but it's gonna be good for this week. <laughs> and my hair is gonna stay like this. So yeah, um, really happy with this Dove product. Dove has been coming through and I will give you guys a final review of this probably at some point. But right now I'm happy with how it looks. It's super moisturized. The product still needs to dry up a little bit. I did go ham on the product. But thank you for coming to my channel. Thank you for watching this video. If you wanna see more videos from me, go ahead and smash that like button. Follow me in all of my socials that are listed down below in the description. And I will see you guys next time.